Scott with you today. We're wrapping up this week. It's been quite a powerful week. Lots of really powerful stuff we've shared with you today. I want to I want to share with you today uh, in this last podcast of the week. This is also podcast number 198 in our series. So we have uh, covered a lot of territory. I want to talk to you and share with you today about the judgment seat of Jesus Christ. Very important topic. Very important that we understand this. We are all believing God that we go up in the rapture. We're all believing that we won't be here for the tribulation. But what awaits us? It's the judgment seat of Jesus Christ. Let me start off in Ephesians chapter 2. Two of my favorite verses, 8 and 9. Salvation verses. There, these are the verses I got saved on. It says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is so powerful. Look at the next verse. We don't quote it very often, but it's so important to us. It says, For we are his workmanship. We are God's workmanship, created in Jesus Christ for good works. Amen. Once we're born again, we have been created to do good works, which God himself has prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Amen. Hallelujah. So he's got good works that he has preordained for you to walk in and to complete and do. He's got purpose and destiny for your life. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. So you can't get, you can't get saved by works. You get saved by grace through faith. Amen. For by grace are you saved through faith, not of works, lest any man would, would boast. Amen. But once saved, God has works for you to do. All kinds of them. He's got purpose and destiny for you. Let me read that 10th verse in the Amplified Bible. Very, very powerful. It says, we are God's own handiwork, his own workmanship. We have been recreated, yes, recreated in Jesus Christ. We have been born again, that we may do those good works which God predestined. He planned beforehand for us, taking paths which he prepared ahead of time for us, that we should walk in them, living the good life which he prearranged and made ready for us to live. Boy, does that ever make it clear? God has preordained, he has predestined, he has foreordained, he has already a plan for your life and works for you to fulfill and to do. And he wants you to walk in that which he has planned beforehand so that you live the good life. Amen. Hallelujah. Then let's go to the next set of verses in 1 Corinthians, sorry, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. It says, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in a body according to what he has done, whether it be good or bad. Amplified aversion once again, expands it tremendously. Listen closely. For we must all appear and re be revealed as we are before the judgment seat of Jesus Christ, so that each one may receive his pay according to what he has done in the body, in the natural, whether it be good or evil, considering, listen to this, considering what his purpose and motives have been and what he has achieved and been busy with and given himself to and his attention to accomplishing it. Now I've added just a few little words in there just to make it clear, but here's the deal. We get born again. Amen. We're now children of the Most High God. We're part of the body of Christ. Now we have assignment. Now we have a, a, a plan that we must fulfill. We have God's plan for our life and purpose for our life that he has foreordained. He's already predestined it. We need to know what it is and we need to accomplish it. For when we get into heaven, whether it be by rapture or by passing into heaven through death. Let's hope it's through rapture so we don't go through death. But when we get there, we appear before the judgment seat of Jesus Christ where we will be giving a report of our life, what we have done, 
but it's according to what he purposed for us. It's according to what he planned for us. It's according to what our destiny and our purpose in life is, the plan of God for us. So we need to know that. You need to know it. You need to search the Lord for that. Pray, seek him, hear his voice, hear his voice. Praise the Lord, because we appear before the judgment seat of Christ. That's a great place to appear. There's a second judgment. It's called the great white throne judgment. It doesn't occur until the end of the millennial, millennial period, the thousand year reign of Christ. It's not for the believer. It's for the sinner, the non-believer, the one who rejected Christ, who never accepted Christ, who never came to know the Father through Christ. And the uh, outcome of that great white throne judgment is hell, cast into the lake of fire, the bottomless pit forever and ever, never to be heard of or seen again. Ooh, you don't want to go there. It's much better to go to the judgment seat of Christ, but you don't want to go to that judgment seat not knowing why you were on the earth. Praise God. Hallelujah. We might share some more on this. It might help you a great deal. Call you blessed. Have a great weekend. See you next week. Amen. Bye.